Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate LEO reports with the Test NG framework. LEO framework is another test report tool that shows a very concise representation of the test execution. And we can integrate the LEO report into our framework with the help of LEO report plugin. So let's get started. This is my test automation project created using TestNG, where I have implemented the TestNG as a test framework. Now we'll see how we can integrate the LEO reports to generate the test execution results using TestNG. First of all, we need to add the dependency in our project for LEO report. So I'll go to the browser to access the Maven repository. To get the dependency XML for LEO report, here we can type LEO test ng and then click on search. Now, here we have got the LEO test ng dependency provided by io.qmeta.leo which is used to generate the LEO report for the framework created using TestNG. So let me click on it. And from here, I'll click on the latest version available. After that, copy the dependency XML for LEO TestNG plugin. Now let's move back to the project and paste the dependency XML over here. So that's all we need to do to get the test results in form of LEO report. Here is my test runner class, which extends the base driver class, where I'm initializing the web driver object. Here I have a before method annotation, which is used to initialize the web driver object before every test method. And then I have two test methods created in this runner class. The first test method is to search for a Java book and then it validates the price of the book. Then the second test method is to search for a C sharp book, which also validates the price of the book. And at last, I have this after method annotation, which is being used to quit the web driver object after each test method execution. Now let me run the test to see how our report will be generated in LEO format. You can see that the execution has started. So two test methods will be executed, where one method will search for Selenium C sharp book, and then the other method will search for Selenium Java book. Once the execution is done, then we'll get our LEO results in default or specified directory. And then using those LEO JSON files, we can generate our LEO report. So the execution is done. You can see here that the two test cases got executed and both the test cases have passed. Now, when we execute our test, then the LEO results will be generated at the root level of the project, which is the default location of the LEO results. So if I refresh the project explorer, you can see that we have got a new folder here as LEO results. And if I expand this folder, then we can see these are the LEO results files generated in JSON format. And using these LEO JSON files, we can generate our LEO HTML report. So for that, let me first open this folder in File Explorer. Here is our LEO results folder. And these are the test results file. 
Now to generate the earlier HTML report, let me first open the command prompt. After that, we need to type the command as earlier space serve space the folder name where earlier JSON files are placed and then hit enter. You can see it prompted with the message generating a report to temp directory. So once the report is done, then it will automatically open in the default browser. Here you can see that we have got our earlier HTML report. In this overview tab, we can see the overview or summary of the test execution. That how many test cases got executed and the status of the test cases. To see the detailed results, I can go to the suit tab, which will display all the test suits executed during this run. Here I have only a single test class in this test suit, that is runner class. So if you have multiple test classes, then all will be listed over here. And here I can see that two test methods got executed as part of this runner class. Here you can see that we have no test logs displayed regarding these test executions. That's because we have not added any logs or steps in the report. The default report will only display the status of the test case and the failure reason, if any. Similarly, in the behavior tab also, we'll get the same set of details. Now, if you want to add test steps into your project, then you can use the earlier report method to log the information. To add the test step detail into your report, you can type earlier dot step and then provide the test step details. I'm providing enter the searched string. In the search text box. Similarly, you can further add test step details which you want to see in your test report. So, whenever you feel the test step to be logged in to the report, you can use the different earlier methods to push the information. Now let me add the same set of test step details into the second test method as well. So I've added the test step details using the earlier.step method. So all these test logs will be pushed into the earlier report. Now let me run the test again to see how we'll get the test step details in the earlier report. You can see the execution has started. And once the execution is done, then we'll get our LEO results in the same folder. And then again, using those LEO JSON files, we can generate our LEO report. So the execution is done. Now, if I refresh this folder, then you can see we have got new files generated under this folder. And again, I'll open the command prompt and will type earlier serve 
and the folder name where all your results files are placed. Here we have got the latest result. And if I go to the detailed result of my test execution, then you can see this time we have got the test steps details as well in the report. So these are the steps which I've added using the earlier step method. And for this method also, we have got the same test steps details. Similarly, you can add your test logs and data in the LEO report so that anyone can manually reproduce the scenario in case of any failure. Also, in LEO report, you can categorize your test based on the functionality or feature. You can mark different test methods or scenarios under the same feature or functionality by providing at feature and notation. And then provide the feature description. And then you can mark a test method as a test story under the provided feature. So a story might contain different test methods or a single method. It totally depends on your requirement. The basic idea is to categorize the test methods so that you can see the group results in earlier format. If you want, you can also provide a detailed description of your test method by using at the rate description and notation and then provide the description of your test which you want to display on the test report similarly you can provide the same set of details to another test method and then update the information based on the requirement like if both methods fall in the same story and feature then you can leave it as it is but if it belongs to another feature or story then you can update the value here i have updated the story name for the second test method now if i run my test then i would get this kind of report where if i go to the behavior tab then we can see the feature name at root level. And if I expand the feature, then we'll get different stories under it. And under the stories, we'll get our test method. So this is how we can integrate the LEO report with our TestNG framework. That's it for today. In my next video, we'll see how to attach a screenshot in case of any failure with your test ng framework i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you